All right, let's quickly talk about the PhD admission offer. What can you expect in the PhD admission offer? I have said many, many times on this channel that PhDs are very well-funded program in the US. Is that really true? What you can actually get in PhD offer? Let's find out. I'm gonna show you the proof. But before that, we all are going to hit the like button. Thank you, you guys are amazing. And just a reminder before I get onto the topic, we are currently enrolling students for our online course admission 102 for the fall 26 cohort. So if you guys are targeting fall 2026, if you guys want to build up your profile, consider enrolling in this course. I will leave the link in the description down below. So now let's get on to the topic. This is an actual admission offer letter of a student from fall 2024 whom I mentored for PhD admission. You can see the date here, May 1st, 2024. This is when the offer was received. I'm not showing you the name of the student just because of confidentiality reasons. Um, but anyway, all other information is in front of you. And you can see up here, this is from University of Minnesota, Twin City campus, which is by the way, very high ranked university in the US. Dear student, congratulations, blah, 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 blah. Some information there. Your initial RA stipend will be at an annual rate of 29,000. So basically, it's gonna get 29,000 US dollars in a year as a stipend, which is basically $27.88 per hour, about $28 per hour. RA positions include a tuition waiver, so basically student doesn't have to pay any tuition fees at all, and a healthcare benefit, basically free of cost, health insurance. So student doesn't have to pay anything for the health insurance either. I just want to add a point here. All the students who come to US on F1 visa as a student, they have to buy the health insurance and that's mandatory and that's quite significant cost. So if you get a PhD position, that cost will also be taken care of by the university. And on top of that, the student will be earning $28 per hour, which will take care of the majority of the you know day-to-day -day living expenses. Actually not majority of the expenses, but all the living expenses. In addition to your stipend, you will also receive $4,000 in professional development account that you can use towards appropriate professional development activities like, you know, if you want to attend a conference or attend some seminars or some trainings, etc., which is related to your field. So $4,000 extra in the professional development account. This is the actual PhD offer. This is what you can expect. And by the way, these students only got partial, like 50% stipend in the first year. But I have seen in many cases, students who receive 50% uh, stipend in the first year, they get full 100% uh, stipend in the second year and subsequent years. So that is not a problem. And that's what I mean. You don't have to pay anything out of your pocket. You can get a stipend, you can earn money $28 per hour. You know, that depends on the university's university. Some universities may pay, uh, pay a little more or some may pay a little less. But more or less, let's say you are in the range of $25 to $30 per hour. And full tuition fee waiver, you don't have to pay any tuition fees. On top of that, a free health insurance, which is mandatory, by the way, right? So it is all covered. So let's first share for the success of the student. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do. And again, if you are aiming to receive similar fully funded PhD admission offers, consider enrolling in our online course admission one or two as soon as possible because then you will have plenty of time to build up your profiles. There are many tips and tricks I have talked about in this course that will help you build up your profile. By the way, building profile takes time. So the, the earlier you enroll, the better position you will be in when it comes to uh, you know applications. So that's all for today. Take care. Bye. <laughs>